I'm here in southeastern Massachusetts, considered by many to be the birthplace of European immigration into the United States, Plymouth Rock. Now, not far from me is the city of New Bedford, home of one of the largest populations of Portuguese immigrants in the United States and the largest Portuguese feast. every year here in New Bedford, Massachusetts, and by the looks of things, it is quite the celebration. This is it. <laughs> it don't get no better than this. Like they say, the largest Portuguese feast in the world. This feast now has been celebrated for 97 years. We all gather together whenever one of the communities has a celebration. So during the course of the feast, everyone in New Bedford is, is Portuguese. Oftentimes, these festivals start out as a feast or a celebration of food. This feast has been celebrating traditional Portuguese cuisine since 1950. I'm going to find out what people here at the feast are really eating. So this looks really interesting. What is this? Bacalar, Portuguese crab fish. I, I don't know how to make it myself, that's why we come here to get it. I am eating a uh, linguiça sandwich. Every time you get a linguiça sandwich here, it's, it's spot on. Okay, I've made my way back here in the kitchen to see where all the action happens with all the food here at the fest. There is some serious cooking going on. You're looking at it about two, four, six pans is what we call pork butts. <laughs> pork pork butts. butts. That sounds delicious. The food is the same as the Madeiran. We don't change anything. Okay. We take our forefathers' recipes and we continue that as long as so these we can. Are traditional recipes. Yes. We have many old timers. Yeah. They, when they come over, this brings back memories to them. And so we buy the goat. And then we marinate it overnight with Madeira wine, garlic, onions, White right. pepper, red pepper, and red wine also. We bought 600 pounds of tuna. And you're going to sell all of that this festival? Oh, it's almost all gone. OK, so I got a bit of a behind the scenes look in the kitchen, and I got to see the food being made. Now comes the real deal time to taste it all. So as you can tell by just something like what's on my plate right now, there's a lot of variety with Portuguese food. My mouth is on fire right now. This one is rabbit. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't be eating it. <laughs> That's actually okay. I still feel really bad. It tastes really good. Being that Portugal is a seafaring nation, Portuguese cuisine is often associated with fish and seafood, primarily codfish. But when it comes to this Portuguese festival, there is no shortage of beef. If you're a meat eater, this is the place to come. The 40-foot barbecue pit is a huge attraction at this festival. Ed, our festival host, helped me navigate through this massive undertaking. It first starts with the beef. Buy it by the pound, load it onto this ginormous skewer, throw on some secret spices, and it's ready for the pit. A tradition so often looked at as a great American pastime might have come from the Portuguese. It started back on the island of Madeira at their small festivals that they had up in the mountains where they would cut sprigs of trees and they would skewer meat. Okay. And they would do it in the, in the country at fairs and festivals. You know, the meat was so tender and the spices created a unique flavor experience and that could only be topped by another festival favorite, Madeiran wine. I've got to tell you, this festival is kind of blowing me away. There is so much here. Okay, I was really curious about the culture of the festival, and mostly dancing and the music. So I've come here to the Museum of Madeiran Heritage to 
speak with Mike, the Director of Entertainment, about music and dancing. In 2003, I became a uh, Festado, which is the gentleman that put the feast on. There's a lot of culture and a lot of modern pride here. Our group is, uh, was formulated to uh, emulate the group from Camacho. So you actually dance? Yes, I do. Well, I like to dance. Well, why don't we see what you got? All right, show me your moves. Let's go. It, uh, it's a simple step, kind of like a little hop with a turn. This number is called Alamado, and it's right from the town of Camacho on the island of Madeira. This dance is characterized by a unique and very traditional instrument called the banquinho. Like traditional Portuguese folk dancing, Madeiran dance is deeply rooted in long history and rich culture. And like so much of everything at this festival, it's quite the crowd pleaser. This feast has certainly been a lot of fun. The culture, the entertainment, the food. What a great way to finish a fantastic day.